Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. So today we're taking a look at some procedural nodes that you can actually work with if you're thinking about creating procedural pipes. Now this is made available by Ray and all of this is strictly made of geometry node and you can go ahead and grab it for free. Now, once you have this open, you would notice that it looks very, very cool, you know, pretty nice. And you'd also notice that within the modifier section that we have a couple of parameters. So in this case, if you'd like to increase the radius, of course you can, and you can reduce the radius like this. And for those that are thinking about playing with the radius randomization, you can also do something like that. The connector radius is also something that you can play with. And you can also play with the thickness, depending on what you want. You can play with the number of rivets, which are these tiny buttons here. So you can play with the number of rivets that you have. If you like to have some randomization of this as the seat, you can also have those randomization and you can also have some additional parts taken out or placed in. So this is pretty nice. And the question is, how do you work with it? Because this actually works with your curve. It makes sense to know that if you press the tab key, you can select any of these parts and you can start working with them. Once we have this selected, if we choose to move this forward or backward, we can extend or we can shrink the pipe. If you tap E on the keyboard and push this forward, you would notice that we started extruding and extending the entire pipe. And we can do this for some other parts. I can press E on the keyboard and push this all the way up. And in this case, I can select all of that. And let's just simply rotate it to look good. All right, so it's looking pretty. Let's go all the way to this part. And we can do the same thing. So I can press E on the keyboard and rotate this to this part and we can push this in. So depending on what you're trying to create, you can use the Bezier handles to create something pretty lovely for yourself. Is what if you already have your own curve? All right, so once we have the path curve, if you'd like to apply the geometry node from here over to this one, you need to have the object selected, go over to the modifier section, throw in the geometry node, click down here, and append the very first one called the geometry node. So I would strongly suggest that the creator actually renames this so that it will be easier to understand what geometry you're dealing with. So once you apply that, you can now play with the radius. You know, we can crank this radius down and we can also bring this a little bit down. I think this should go up a little bit. And for the connectors, we would also bring those connectors about a point like so, and we can change the level of thickness. So in this case, we're changing the level of thickness to be something like that and this doesn't look bad so if you're thinking about using this for your project you can of course go ahead and use it something else that i need to mention is this also comes fully textured now the texture doesn't really transfer to this other one but if i turn on the texturing you would notice that we have some very good textures going on there on these other one so i'm just going to make a duplicate you would see that we don't have these textures going right here. So this is just one of the things to keep in mind if you're thinking about exploring these assets. And of course, for those who like to download this and work with it, you can simply go over to the link in the description, which will bring you right here where you can download it and start working with it totally for free. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.